Hi everyone, it is Digital Girl here with eStoreKings.com. Today I'm going to be looking at creating a sign-up form within MailChimp that you can embed onto your website. Once it's embedded, you can then of course collect new subscribers right from within your website. So once you're logged into MailChimp, head on over to the Create button, the little pencil up in the top left. Hit Create and then scroll all the way down to Sign Up Form. So here we have it, we've got sign up form. So add a pop-up or embedded form to your website to collect subscribers. So from here, we do have three different options. We have embedded form, which is what we'll be looking at today. We've also got a pop-up form and a sign up landing page. Now, if you're interested in sign up landing pages, definitely check out my other video on how to create those. But for today, we're gonna stick with the embedded form. So basically we wanna create a form within MailChimp that we can then put on, you know, a blog post or a page within your website. So first thing you're going to do is select the audience in which these subscribers will be added to whenever they fill out the form. Now I only have the one list, which is then segmented into other lists. Um, but go ahead and select your list if it isn't the one that's pre-selected here. And then click on the begin button. So once we're on the embedded forms page, we will have the option to preview on the right hand side here, which is very helpful for when we're building our form. You'll see here the form options are on the left and then underneath the preview is the code that you're going to have to copy and paste into your website. Now before we really dive into it, there are a few different options as far as style goes. So this is the classic style. We also have the condensed style, which essentially is a much smaller form. So this form is great for places on your website that really don't have a lot of real estate. You know, we're talking about the footer, perhaps a blog sidebar, anywhere that there isn't a lot of room to work with. We also have the horizontal, which is much more condensed as well. It's just laid out a little bit differently. We also have unstyled, which is essentially like the bare bones version of the form. It has no CSS, no JavaScript included. And then we have the option to make a more advanced form. And most likely if you're watching this tutorial, you'll want to stick to the classic or one of the condensed versions. The advanced form, it's more for a scenario where you have specific CSS styling that you'd like to apply, or you'd really like to play around with the functionality of the form. So for this tutorial, I am going to stick with the classic version of the form. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna walk through the different form options to give you an idea as to what it can look like. So the first one is whether or not you'd like to include a title on this form. So right now it's subscribe, but you can hide it if you'd like, or you can rename it. And there you have it. We've got a new title there. As of right now, we're showing all of the fields available for the form, but we can change it so that it only shows the required fields. But let's go ahead and change that back because we do want to give people options as to what they can and cannot enter. Next up is, do we want to show interest group fields? So that will remove their interests. So I would like to know, you know, if someone signs up for the email newsletter, do they want to learn about MailChimp, Canva, e-commerce? You know, is it all three, which they can select or they can select just one or two if they'd like but I would like to know that information so that when someone signs up, I know what kind of content to send to their inbox. We have show required field indicators. So that would be the little red asterisks up here. So really the only thing that they absolutely have to fill out is the email address, but you know, we could hide that. I would like to keep it really just because I think that it's good for people to know, okay, what fields do I have to fill out? What fields can I skip? We also have show format options, which I am going to leave checked. You know, I think this day and age, most people are receiving HTML versions of emails, but I will leave it. And if we go a little bit further down, we do have a few more options here. We do have the form width. So let's say you'd like to make your form a little bit wider or thinner, depending on the page, that's up to you. We have to state, we have disable all JavaScript, which I am going to leave unchecked because I don't want to do that. Next, we have an include archive link. And if you check that off, you'll see a link at the bottom of your form, 
which says view previous campaigns. And that'll basically give people a little bit of insight into what kind of campaigns you send out. So you can include that if you'd like. I'm going to remove it just because I think it's a bit cleaner. And then we also have the referral link. So powered by MailChimp. You know, if you want to show MailChimp a little love and let people know where to go to create a form of their own. So let's say that there's something on the form that you don't want to include. So for example, the birthday, you know, I, I don't necessarily want someone to have to enter their birthday in order to sign up for a newsletter. So I'm going to remove that. And in order to play around with the, you know, the information that you're asking for on your sign up form, head on over to sign up forms. I'm just going to open it up in a new tab here and click on form builder. It is the sign up form that we'd like to edit. So we will leave that, but I'll show you there are many other different options that you can edit as well. Now this was the, you know, plain text versus HTML that we saw. So if we turn this on and head down to the bottom, users will be able to select what kind of email they'd like to receive. Now, again, most people will receive HTML, so you can include this if you'd like or remove it and you know by default people will receive html emails okay so let's go through the different fields here so you know we've got email address which obviously we need first name last name there is address although right now it's hidden you know i i don't really need people to enter their address phone number as well really not needed so birthday i would like to hide so go ahead and click on it if you'd like to hide something and then if we go up a little bit, we see here birthday, but I'm going to mark it as hidden and then click save. And now birthday, just like phone number and address is hidden. So that's our form so far. We can also add a field, you know, let's say you'd like to add something saying, you know, where did you hear about us or something like that? Simply click on the item that you'd like to add. So again, let's say we want to say, you know, where did you hear about us? We can make it a required field if we'd like. We're going to make it visible. And then we'll enter our different choices. We can also add more choices if we'd like. And then hit save field once you're done. And if you'd like to add more fields, you certainly can go through them if you'd like. So if we head on back to our embedded form page and refresh it, you'll now see the new dropdown that we added and the birthday is now hidden. So let's take one last look at it. So we've got the email address, which is required, first and last name, where did you hear about us? And then what would you like to learn about? And then of course the subscribe button. And so if you're happy with your form, simply click on the copy paste onto your site section, copy the code, and then head on over to your website and paste that code into your website. You should then see a form that looks a lot like this that is embedded onto your website and you're able to share. And there you have it. You've got a MailChimp sign up embedded form that you can now put on your website. If you found this tutorial helpful, do subscribe. I will be creating more MailChimp and digital marketing content. So definitely stay tuned and thanks for watching.